pass SQL exam 70-461 and job interview programming SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. Complex SQL Query Let's consider the following uh, SQL Query in uh, AdventureWorks 2012 sample database. Let's check the very end of the query. It's sorting on four keys. Category, subcategory, year and quarter. When we can slide back to the beginning of a query where we are declaring two local variables, start date and end date, indicating in this current example the span of a quarter. So let's go line by line and explain what's going on in this query. Well, First, there is the PC, which stands for product category. This is called a table alias. It is declared over here. So the table alias is used, and the name we are re aliasing. This is a column alias as category. And this is product subcategory, table alias and the column is alias the subcategory. You could see now that meaning is added for the final output, so it is readable. It would be pretty confusing leaving it PC name and PCS name. Then we take the year date part of order date as year and we construct with a concat operation, concatenation. It is a new operation in SQL Server 2012. The quarter as a Q and the quarter number as 1, 2, 3, 4. When we format the sum of unit price times order quantity, and it's currency zero format using the culture, content, English, and the United States. So this is the output part of a query. Let's go now to the join part where we are combining the tables. So this is the First table is sales order header, it's inner joint on sales order detail. And we use the sales order ID primary key as the joint key, which is a foreign key in sales order detail. When we join sales order detail on product ID to the production.product table, when we join the product table to the product subcategory table on product subcategory ID, primary key and foreign key, and we join the product subcategory to product category, again on primary key and foreign key. Then we are finished with joining the table, so we joined all the tables which we need to produce the desired output for this query. Then we have where condition. Where condition filters the results. In this case, we just want when the order date is greater than equal start date, January 1st, 2008 and less than we are adding one day to the end of the quarter using the date add function which is a date time function and we use the less than operator to make sure we capture all orders which are less than 
basically April 1st, 2008. Group by on a year of order date, group by on category name, group by on subcategory name, and group by on quarter. Again with a concatenation operator. In a group by query, we can only include in the select list columns or expressions in the group by clause or aggregates where the aggregates functions are used. In this case, the aggregate function is sum. Our aggregate functions are average, count, we can also use the min, minimum aggregate function, or the max, maximum aggregate function. But we cannot include a column which is not in the group by clause or it's not in the argument of an aggregate function. This is very important to remember about um, the group by clause. Finally, we are sorting the results and we already checked out the four keys used in the sort. Let's consider the results of the query. So this is the result set. It has four columns. These are the categories. Entries, these are the subcategory entries, year, quarter indication, and the total sales amount. So the interpretation of this, in the category of bikes, and specifically for mountain bikes, in 2008 first quarter, there were over 3 million dollars in sales. We can take a look at road bikes. The performance, sales performance is pretty similar and touring bikes also the sales performance very near to mountain bikes and road bikes. Clothing, bib shorts, uh, the sales are quite low in fact, which may give an idea to sales management that uh, it's not worth carrying this product. Let's slide down so we can see the end of this report. And it looks like touring frames are selling pretty good. Same for mountain frames and road frames. Even uh, pedal sales are brisk. In summary, complex SQL queries uh, include joining uh, tables using uh, group by to create uh, summaries of data and uh, very often we need to sort the output using the order by close. This is the end of a short demo.